Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time. Underway here in week 13. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. You enjoyed watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, Last week's game. Was good. Four I mean, touchdowns, one pick. Now, you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not if you were the head coach. <laughs> hey, they got the win. They got the win, so you're going to give him another okay, chance? give him another shot. All right. I think the ratio is pretty good. They're trying to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. The numbers for Coleman last week. He was able to topple the 200-yard mark and a rushing touchdown for good measure. And what I found surprising, all those yards he accumulated only found the end zone yeah, one just time. once. That, that doesn't even seem fair, does it? <laughs> but still, the 200-yard mark, something he can always carry in his back pocket. On second down, it's Coleman. And an alley to run. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, 49ers. Tevin Coleman, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are able to strike first here opening quarter. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well-organized, well-coached, and extremely confident in what they do. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it, they're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Gurley. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The headshots here are the offensive unit. And what about Brandon Cooks? If he's not a 1,000-yard receiver every year he's healthy in the league, I'll be surprised. Came out of college wanting to be a pro, studied all the best receivers in the NFL before he even got to the league. 
On second and nine, Goff. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But look now at the defensive starting lineup for the 49ers. It's quite a unit, number one in the NFL against the pass. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if they ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. They got a man, it's one. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 38-yard line. And together there in breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 38. Now it's gone. And he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Offense. So that'll back him up five. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs and worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Goff throwing complete to Cup. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. First carry now for the Memphis Mill Henderson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to thumb. Gone. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A shotgun snap for Gone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they first and 10. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. On the counter, here's Coleman. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Now a give right side Coleman. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Drops it underneath for Collins. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of two, now third down. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. 
and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And Woods has it. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll make this a second and long. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54. Goff on third down. Then he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. On first down, it's Gurley. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. 16 carries, 89 yards, and a touchdown. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench and tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Henderson now on for room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Goff complete to Cook. And he's going to be met behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. And a penalty flag is going to come out on top of it. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yard. And it'll be a second and long. They go play action with Gurley. Now Goff. To escape, and he goes down. D Ford make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game right there that may be a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe one of the routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. And everyone always tells me the fullback is leaving the game, and then I say, hold on a second. What about Kyle Juszczyk? Two-time Pro Bowler. Maybe the best all-around fullback in the game for his ability to block, catch, and occasionally run the football inside. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And pass 30 before he's out of bounds. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak, and the whole month of December is still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset. And I guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up with a very good clip. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll try the air now with Goff. Right side complete. That's Woods. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Second down, it's Henderson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third, and it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods, his fifth touchdown now on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. A 10-play drive that time. So all even at seven now is the way. And it winds up touchdown for Los Angeles. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. Accelerating, and off he goes. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field. And I don't think this is going to Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. They'll run the counter with Collins. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He'll find Taylor, that's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Garoppolo on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. 
So let's see about the call. Umpire threw the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. There's the Washington Husky, it's Dante Pettis. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Boy, they had a lot of to make up there, but what a play for them. Nice completion and gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. And that one hits a little too close to the goal Let's line, go, and Let's it continues go. into the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to put it on display. Goff on the draw play to Henderson. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. From the gun on third down, Goff. And he will not be able to hang on through the contest. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes the better actually determine the outcome. Now, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end, powering his way forward. A big play there for the Niners, 47 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Yeah, the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the new action. From the gun, it's a handoff to Cole. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Here's a first down run with Collins. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Now gold for the extra point. And it's now a 14-7 ball game. Five plays there on that drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. On second and a couple. Goff, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the counter, it's Henderson. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Goff's throw into the hands of Henderson. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Goff now. 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 13, first down Rams. Here's Goff. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring him down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Looking again in the direction of Woods, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll find Everett there, complete. They get only four that time as that leads up down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast too. Converged on him, and that'll bring up fourth down. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yard. It's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33. It's a rule for these guys. It should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're such shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Clay Matthews brings the heat and gets the sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. We, play to win. we have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13, so let's get an update on what's going on. Lastly, let's check on a game for you. 
And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it was Jimmy Garoppolo who was brilliant in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Gun and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as we need. To. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. A huge play that time for the Rams. 43 yards. It's your first drive of the second half. You're down on the scoreboard. Maybe you just say to yourself, let's take a shot, see if we can shake them up. And boy, they hit that one. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Now a run with Henderson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. On second and goal. Goff. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play. This Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. The 20. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that needed to help it pack up field? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turn. What do you need? Come on. I got it. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this and behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. This one complete to Coleman. And inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. On first and goal, Collins. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make it third and goal. Garoppolo now on third and goal. 
And a big loss here as he's taken down. Aaron Donald. He continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it. But how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. So Garoppolo off, coming on as the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This a 33-yard attempt. And Gold is a through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra cake. Because the extra points cake anymore <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance just give him confidence and let him knock it through and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 go, yard line let's go, let's go. set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line and so close to hitting pay dirt last time fumbling down near the goal line now, how does that affect? Under pressure, and they got to him again. D Ford in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Throwing on third. Gone. And this is going to be incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise in the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast go. offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work. Well, for most teams, run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? Now a loose football. Coleman lost it. Oh, yeah! Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Mike 20. Yeah, yeah. Mike 58, right there. Woohoo! Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away. Fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well. And it was third and short, okay? They decide to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he gets this to the five. Good for a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here five. Now golf. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Goff now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second and 11 now. Goff, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
Incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This is caught. It's Cooks. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10. 43. Here's Henderson. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first. Again, it's Henderson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. In your face. From the red zone now, Golf. And his throw here is incomplete. Robert Wood, USC man, the intended target. Going to be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Golf. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, his second touchdown of the afternoon as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns. So game. And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that will level the playing field at 17 all. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. 17 the score. Even to this point as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive under. And a tight game after punt time. Get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game, this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They will run again with Coleman. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been terrific so far. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 22. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And yeah, they nearly get keep this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Back now here in Santa Clara. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So one play and they're already midfield. They'll run with Henderson. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. From just shy of midfield, Goff under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. DeForest Buckner has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. From the gun, here's Goff. And the pressure gets to him again. DeForest Buckner in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. 
Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles, and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. And they're able to get this one at 25. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They'll run on first down. It's Coleman, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a Niner first. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On second down, it's Coleman. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Loss of it, it brings up fourth. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 26. On first down, it's Henderson. He takes this for three to the 29. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Going to give this time to the tailback. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. A shotgun snap for Goff. And that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Fred Warner, right there on the coverage. There are a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22, Garoppolo. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Garoppolo. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. From the 35 on second down, Garoppolo. And this one's incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis. Third down here. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. 
on any passes in the middle of the field. Anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense line. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. He gets it to Cooks. 95 catches for him now on the year, and it's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Henderson. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run good for second and eight. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Gone. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Here's Gone. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They run the counter. Henderson. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw is gone. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Getting down to the good stuff. All in with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. And they're looking at fourth down now in this tie ball game. And Gano's kick right through. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post-game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And checking that NFL scoreboard there in the fourth quarter down in Arizona. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. One going on there. He'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Collins. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. If they hold on, it would be win number 10 for them on the year. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, the ball comes out. We play to win. Let's go. And defensively, maybe an opera there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, He's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that'll be considered a fumble. Go, go, go. 
So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets over. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Aaron Donald in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a run. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be brought to mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on 10. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. On second down, it's Coleman. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Now a final chance. Stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll run on first down. It's Henderson, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And now we'll get a timeout. He's able to stop it with one second to go in this game. On second and two, Goff. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Let's go, let's go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they're used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. He's going to fire one deep. And got his man complete. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. 
That's Mike McGlinchey, former first-round pick out of Notre Dame with a penalty. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And, boy, they did it well. Let's Call go, that one an go, even 60 go. yards. 6-0. And that will come the offense as they take over. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner on the coverage. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now it's Henderson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give it here to his running back. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run the counter. Henderson. And hard running is going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second. Again, it's Henderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Now a handoff here to his running back. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. On the draw, this is Henderson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Goff now to throw. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me, conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. It's caught, Smith. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. It's a gain of five, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. It'll be a gain of 11. And just like that, it's third down. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that is incomplete. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Neither team scored yet. Now we go to sudden death. Next points win this game. How about the tension right now? It is ratcheted up, isn't it? I mean, now whatever happens, points are scored. That's your ball game. 
Can't wait to see the defense now. Do they get a little more aggressive in order to not let the team just drive the ball easily down the field? Got to be careful, though, right? Yeah, if you're too aggressive, you just give up something easy and cheap. But some defensive coordinators, they'd rather take a stand that way as opposed to being nickel and dime down the field. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. And to give this time to the tailback. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. On, and Let's it appears go. we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll check on his status when we get back. So first and 10 now from the 30. And now a carry here for their fullback. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll try and run with their fullback. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, after that pickup of a first down, I think some of the defensive guys are going to be looking over their coordinator, not in the scouting report. That went against every tendency most teams have. You don't usually hand the ball to your big guy in that situation. Sometimes you catch them by surprise. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And that will break our tie and give him a three-point lead. So he remains perfect. Three for three. Goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now... You know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Well, we thought this game would be a good one. It did not disappoint into overtime, and it took the field goal to win it. And we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense. And usually we focus on the big offensive pyrotechnics, right? But in this case, they got the ball back on defense, gave themselves a chance, and they capitalized on it with a victory. And I don't care what distance that field goal is from in overtime. The knees are always knocking, <laughs> but he pushed it through. Not only that, think about your snapper, your holder. A lot of nerves for them, too, because they have to do their job in order to give him one last chance to put a foot to it. So for L.A., the win moves them a couple games over 500 now at 7-5, and five, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, it's a tough one to swallow as they drop back to 8-4 and four on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. That'll be for us.